I, I mean, right now we do have an aging population in the world. And so age has become a little cooler, uh, even in the fashion industry, uh, because, you know, they're the ones with the money. So it's all finance based uh, a lot of the time. Most of the time, we expect people to look a certain way, behave a certain way. But you carved your own space in the film industry. Um, how did you get yourself there? Um, and why do you think there was acceptance uh, in an industry which otherwise prefers to have a blueprint? How did I get there? I think mostly improvisation. I didn't have a big you know, plan. I didn't know I wanted to be an actor in Bollywood. I knew I wanted to... I mean, I studied theatre and I knew I wanted to act and every step along the way, it was what was necessary for me in order to continue working, in order to continue earning money. I didn't think about, oh, I need to have a plan, like, like launch myself or have this kind of role to start with or whatever it is. How did you deal with um, the inherent sexism in the film industry? You know, there's this strange way of believing that, oh, you know, women who make it big and they're, you know, they're beautiful in the traditional definition of beauty, etc. They aren't put through this because they become stars. Did you feel that or did you feel that uh, the film industry is as sexist uh, before and now and it doesn't matter who it is? It is. It is very sexist and uh, most of the men uh, run it, unfortunately. You know, I mean, I have to say in the last few years, I've, I've worked with mostly female directors. It's been fantastic. Um, it's a great change to see. But in general, it's the men who are running the big bucks and, you know, mostly male directors or male crew members. And and what that comes with is a constant uh, male gaze, a constant uh, being watched and looked at as a as a product. And so it's it's a funny I mean, it's a, it's a tricky place to be because you do want to keep working and you do want to keep, you know, uh, you know, continuing your career uh, at the same time you don't want to be constantly objectified um so there's a balance to make you know so i i just want to take you back in time did you did you you know like women face this that uh listen you're you're so beautiful but you're so smart right um <laughs> or growing up like hey you are not indian but you speak tamil i mean like how does that even happen right so how did you navigate those spaces? Because those haven't stopped happening to women even now. People are used to stereotypes and used to putting you in a box. And when they don't know what box you fit in, or you fit in more than one box, then, uh, or you don't fit in any box, then, then there's a little bit of surprise and confusion um, and fascination. Um, Sometimes I enjoy it. Sometimes I'm quite happy to give a retort in Tamil, you know, when somebody is saying something behind my back, you know, commenting on, on the way I look or something in Tamil and I can reply to them in Tamil. It's great fun. Um, other times it's just frustrating, like, oh my God, how many times do I need to explain that I'm Indian by heart? You know, I'm born here. I've lived here. This is my home. Yeah, it's just part of life. I don't know. You know, I think I don't think right. that'll ever change. <laughs> Today, the entire debate in uh, the film industry is about how, um, you know, two things. One is accepting women as married and not looking at that as something um, that, that, that kills careers. And the second yeah. is, um, uh, I think that's probably a raging debate among women right now, is this obsession with ageism uh, mm. and, and whether or not when women are past a certain uh, age, are they going to be uh, accepted as stars or, or sort of push behind to be sisters or elder sisters or whatever. How do you view these changes that are still quite not changed? It's yeah, it's again, just proof of the system that's in place, which is very patriarchal. It is going to change. It is changing slowly. Um, you know, uh, having Anina Gupta come out with like her best work right now uh, is a sign that, you know, things are changing. Uh, we had that happen in Hollywood with Meryl Streep, you know, suddenly, uh, boom, have an amazing career in her later years. Um, of course, these are right now exceptions and just a few rare examples. Um, and that needs to become more normal and, and more common. I, I mean, right now, we do have an aging population in the world. And so 
age has become a little cooler, uh, even in the fashion industry, uh, because, you know, they're the ones with the money. So it's all finance based uh, a lot of the time. And right now is a time for, for old people to shine a little. And that's very exciting. And I hope we can, it'll last until we get to that age.